Hello, and welcome to module six in research integrity <clears throat> and careers in addiction science. This week, we're going to talk about the very special issue of ethical issues in genetic research. And this is important even if you don't do genetic research. It's important to understand how genetic research is uh, contributing to other areas of addiction science, but also the unique ethical issues that arise. Uh, and in many cases, if you're a member of a team that is exploring treatment or prevention, you're likely to be collaborating with people who are taking uh, samples for genetic analysis. So one way or the other, it's important to understand the ethical issues. They're tremendously important in getting a picture of how addiction develops in some individuals. Dependence or addiction on psychoactive substances has long been considered to have a biological, if not a familial, if not a genetic basis. And many studies have demonstrated that if parents have an addictive disorders, their children uh, are likely to have, or more likely to have one as well. Uh, it's then been argued that if we can understand the underlying vulnerability that comes with a genetic predisposition, we're in a position to design better early detection, better treatment, and better prevention programs. For example, uh, genotyping might be used to determine whether an individual is likely to benefit from a particular type of medication. Despite the good evidence that genes contribute to addiction susceptibility, the findings derived from family history studies and from molecular genetic studies so far have not commit, uh, uh, contributed dramatically to the improvement of either uh, treatment or prevention. This remains to be seen in the future as the developments are, are quite striking as they go on and better research techniques are developed. Uh, but what we're going to talk about this week are the ethical implications of diagnosing someone with a genetic predisposition, of recruiting people into genetic studies, of uh, intervening with people who may uh, be predisposed to develop with uh, an addiction. And the issues that we're going to talk about uh, come out of a conference that was organized several years ago at the University of Connecticut. And those lectures and the topics that were covered were incorporated into an edited book called Genetic Research on Addiction by uh, Audrey Chapman. And we will be reading those chapters, discussing their implication, listening to some of the authors in this week's module. 